So I'm gonna be reacting to and reading a bunch of famous YouTuber setups. We're gonna be reacting to a bunch of people such as Lachlan, Nick A30, It's Jerrion, and even Alie. Starting the video off with probably my favorite setup. It's probably the most expensive one too. We have Nick A30s, of course. I like how cozy it is. And if you guys didn't know, his dad basically built the entire room, even this PC for him. Actually, such a W dad. He hooked him up so much, man. If you guys watch his videos, you'll also see him sometimes using this green screen. I really like it, how it kind of comes from the top of the roof. It actually just kind of declutters the space a lot. The monitor layout is like so unique. I haven't seen anyone do something like this. His camera's right in the middle and his cable aren't too bad whatsoever i mean yeah they could definitely be a lot better uh, they could be better to be honest but hey it's not as bad as some of the later setups you'll see in this video he has the same microphone as me trust in 7b um he also i used to have that audio mixer but now i have like a nicer looking one dude his dad literally built two different pcs on each of the walls look at that he built one over here probably this is like the gaming pc i'm assuming and then there's a streaming one. No, dude, that's not nah, that's over the top. But this is probably one of my favorite parts of the entire setup. How he has like this granite. I don't know. No, it's not granite, but you know what I'm talking about. This backdrop. It looks so nice. I think Nick A30 is the only YouTuber in this video that actually uses foot pedals. I have these exact same ones, but I never really use them too much. It kind of I think he just uses it for like transitioning like scenes in the stream and stuff like this. So for the second setup, we have Lachlan's setup over here. And I've basically seen no one react to it just because he had a very, very short setup tour. He has a vertical and then three horizontal and there's two horizontal over here stacked together. But the setup is kind of like nothing crazy at all. It's just basically stacked to the brim in terms of specs. I know for a fact this camera is super expensive that he's using right now. He has so much lighting. I only have one of these key lights, but he has like four of them. He has so much lighting as you guys can see. And then also I've never seen someone use that mouse pad. I don't know if it's an exclusive Fortnite one. He has the exact same microphone as me. And then apart from that, to be honest, he didn't really go too much in depth with his setup here's the fortnite boomer himself it's jerry and of course and to be honest his setup a lot of these youtuber setups actually aren't that crazy i swear they all care about more like the actual equipment which is technically more important but they none of them really have any crazy rgb he also has the exact same desk as me it's the ikea like tabletop with two alex drawers on the side and desk risers definitely a really really good desk and then he has the exact same pc case as me but i think his pc like specs are insane he has like a 3090 like 32 gigs of RAM or even 64 I think and he, his PC is just absolutely insane. I swear literally every single YouTuber has these Elgato key lights. I, I even had to get one myself like I was saying earlier but dude I actually have a lot of the same things as these YouTubers even the simple things such as this plant like the default Ikea plant you've seen a bunch of setups. I have the exact same thing. I also have this exact same mouse pad just in different color. I don't know this setup just looks like such a boomer setup. He does not care about like anything really aesthetically to be honest. It's super clean don't get me wrong. It's honestly cleaner than my setup it's just no rgb or anything like that and even the audio mixer he has is like super super plain his cables near the back aren't that nice but it doesn't really matter since no one really sees it at all to be honest but the thing i hate whenever people do setup toys is why don't you just turn on your like monitors man i don't understand why people just can't go th through the simple effort to turn on the monitors it makes it look so much nicer i mean i don't know it's jerry is just a boomer that's why he doesn't understand something i like a lot that it's jerry does is he actually keeps like dust covers on his keyboards i actually need to start doing that because a lot of my keyboards are extremely extremely dusty so i could take some notes from this to be honest actually now looking at it i don't think that dust cover does anything there's so much dust and everything in between the keys man it, yeah that dust cover why do you even have the dust cover on at that point man if it's that dusty like it's not doing anything it's obviously not working bro yo and what is that i i can't even tell what that is man <laughs> Of course, it's Jerry and has Rubik's Cubes. He's just a nerd like that, you know, the boomer himself. To be honest, I can only solve one side of a Rubik's Cube. I can't solve a whole Rubik's Cube. But anyways, I'm going way too far off the point. And of course, of course, this guy, why does he have a sus nut button? Like, bro, like, what, what is this, bro? If you guys didn't know, Clicks moved into like a temporary summer house. And as he, dude, I know it's a temporary setup, but come on, man. That is, that's probably one of the worst looking setups in this video. I mean, I guess he's a pro player, but he also has a pretty big YouTube channel. I mean, over here, these shots, honestly, the house doesn't look too crazy. Of course, he's not going to go all over the top since he's only going to be in here for like two or three months. And okay, bro. Yo, these guys are so sus. What, what am I looking at, bro? To be honest, I think this is the best shot we're going to see of his setup in the video because the rest is basically just the ho actual house 
Tour, but he has a Go XLR in full size here. I mean, his peripherals, like many YouTubers, are like pretty decent, of course. But like, dude, this guy probably has the worst cables I've ever seen. I mean, he couldn't just at least like throw them behind the desk so then it doesn't show. I don't know. And this PC, I think he brought it from somewhere because it's a temporary house, like I said. He also has a lot of his mice, of course, the clicks, uh, peripherals, keyboards, mouse, mouse pad, and everything like that. I mean, it's kind of just a basic pro player mouse pad. Or what am I saying, bro? What I meant to say is it's basically just a normal pro player setup. It just looks like a setup that you would stay in for like 12 hours a day and you wouldn't touch light or like touch grass and you wouldn't go outside. That's basically what it looks like. Now it's the moment you guys have all been waiting for. It's Ali A's brand new setup. It's actually like a year old, to be honest, but this is the newest video he has of it. To be honest, first impressions, it's kind of messy. All of Ali A's setup have always been super, super messy, but it's definitely stacked in terms of specs. As you guys can see, this monitor is extremely wide. I think that's a 49 inch monitor, but honestly, this guy has to clean his cables. The setup would look so much better if he put his monitors on mounts too. I think this is definitely a lot cleaner than his last setup. His last setup was super dirty. Dude, his cameras are also super expensive. Those just look like super expensive cameras. And then his dogs are ruining the video, L dog. Just like in Lachlan's setup, Ali A also has a bunch of lighting. Literally every single YouTuber has so much. I only have one of these key lights like I mentioned earlier, but I guess I definitely need to get more lighting. Anyways, back to the setup tour. This is always something I didn't understand. Why do YouTubers use like the worst keyboards? I mean, this is a good keyboard. Don't get me wrong. It's super expensive. It's like $180 or something like that. And it's not crazy good or anything. I mean, it kind of looks weird to be honest since the keys are like very, very small and they don't look like normal keys. But honestly, I haven't really liked this keyboard at all and also the mouse he's using isn't that good i guess he plays on controller so i kind of give him a free pass but i don't know why these youtubers kind of use the not so good keyboards when there's a lot better options he's also using some turtle beach headsets i haven't seen too many people use these on pc normally xbox players use these i used to use them when i was on xbox same exact microphone sure sm7b i have the same mixer too we actually have a lot of the same things i'm not gonna lie except sub count i wish i had like 20 million subs most people, including me, actually use regular OBS. This is the first time I've seen like a super big YouTuber use Streamlabs OBS. It's like a super basic version, but here's the Stream Deck. I also have the exact same thing. I mean, we literally have like super similar, like in terms of setup equipment. It's actually really, really similar. Something I actually didn't mention that I like is kind of the wall panels he added in the back here. It just kind of gives like a very unique design that not a lot of setups have, to be honest. This is a weird position for the lights. I think I actually like this though. It kind of like shines off the wall a little bit. Cable management definitely can be improved. Ali, I know you can do better than that. And dude, those cameras, these cameras right here, mine cost 1K and it's like pretty good quality. These cameras here have to cost like 10K plus. No doubt in my mind. I mean, look how buff those are. Even the lens itself is probably 5K, man. Then here's the wall panels. I think these are actually foam. So they actually do help with the sound. Overall, I think his setup is a lot nicer than the last. Something he definitely nailed is the aesthetics, like the accessories all over the background. As you guys can see, he has a bunch of stuff on the shelf. I really like what he does, like how he showcases all his plaques and everything like that. If you guys enjoyed this different type of video, make sure you drop a quick sub with notifications on so you don't miss any future videos just like this one. While you guys are down there, make sure you drop a quick like. Let's see if we can hit 3k likes. YouTube recommends this video right here, so make sure to go check it out. Anyways, that's about it. Peace.